Apart from an understanding of the gospel of grace, man has always approached God by trying to bring something to the table, when in fact the best that a man can offer is aptly described in Isaiah 64 verse 6, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. So God did something about it, in fact having a plan to do so before the foundation of the world, yet keeping it a secret until in Christ's revelation of the mystery to Paul. And God's action for all not just Israel was that when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verses 6 to 8 Let's break this down. What God did had no dependence on anything that man could offer. In fact, his actions on behalf of man was while mankind was sinful and ungodly and further was in a state, yet without strength to do anything about the problem created by our sinfulness and ungodliness. And what God planned and executed was that in due time Christ died for the ungodly, referring to things prophesied to Israel. In due time refers to things prophesied. But that prophecy only dealt with his provision for his people Israel, those that had received revelation about God's provision for dealing with their sin problem. With Israel's sin problem addressed, the prophesied program was for them to be a kingdom of priests to the Gentile world, that their sin problem might likewise be addressed. Yet Israel rejected their Messiah. It looked like all hope was lost for both they and the Gentile world to whom they were to be priests. But God revealed the mystery hidden from before the foundation of the world that Christ's death in due time had both a prophetic and also a secret mystery purpose. The prophetic purpose for Israel will be fulfilled when he will one day would turn again to deal with them. And the mystery purpose is in the meantime, but God don't miss the but God and but now revelation given Paul. And so the balance of our scripture today deals with in the meantime, the but God mystery action of God on behalf of both Jew and Gentile, with there being no difference due to Israel's rejection of Messiah. God's action comes in two parts and first notes for scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. It could be said that for Israel, some might be considered the righteous man or the good man for which one might die. But with Israel's rejection of their Messiah, that path was most certainly lost for the time being thus, with both Jew and Gentile concluded in unbelief. For God hath concluded them all in unbelief. Romans 11 verse 32. God did something which was not prophesied that he might have mercy upon all. Romans 11 colon 32. And that something was the revelation of, but God commendeth his love toward us in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And the us was both Jew and Gentile, with no difference in how this payment and provision was applied in this dispensation. Of the grace of God, Ephesians 3, 2. Don't miss this, particularly those of you that might wrongly think you might still bring something to the table. For Christ died for us as an action of God's commended love toward us, while we were yet sinners. The ultimate act of God's love for sinful humanity. To any and all who might read this, God's love for you does not depend on you at all. It is a completely one-sided provision. All he asks of mankind is to believe the gospel 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 and thereby have his loving provision, applied by grace through faith for the eternal salvation of any who will believe.